And remittances actually are a lifeline. Uh, I call it dollars wrapped with care for poor people. On today's episode of Expert Answers, we're looking at the money that people send home, or what experts call remittances. I'm told that they have big implications in the fight against poverty, but what role do they play exactly? Well, to get an expert answer on this, we're lucky that the World Bank Group has one of the world's foremost experts on the topic of remittances. Dilip Ratha is lead economist for migration and remittances here at the bank and has also given a TED talk on the subject that has gotten more than 1.3 million views. Dilip, I want to start by asking what exactly are remittances and what role do they play in the world of development economics? Remittances are money, small amounts of money that migrants send home to their families and friends, typically for families and uh, they act as a lifeline to poor households, poor people, as well as poor countries. This year, remittances to uh, the developing countries, the poor countries, would be about $550 billion. And at that level, they are on track to exceed foreign direct investment, that is all the money that is going through the multinationals to developing countries. And for about 10 years now, we knew that remittances are more than three times the size of all development aid. So you talk about remittances are growing and they're set to eclipse this year foreign direct investment. What's driving that growth? What's driving the increase in remittances? So income gaps and uh, demographic factors, both are pushing more migration. Also climate change will probably displace a lot of people who would move uh, across the borders as well. So we are looking at migration flows increasing, the stock of migrants increasing, their incomes are increasing because they are moving from poor places to rich places and rich places are anyway getting richer because they were rich to start with. So they are able to send money home. Remittances are one of the few flows, internationally speaking, that are on a roll, uh, on an upward swing and you, you really can't imagine when they might even begin to slow. And can you talk a little bit about once that money gets back home, when the, the migrant worker sends it back home, the development implications there, how the money is spent, what families are spending it on, and what that can mean for the development of low and, in, low and middle income countries? Sure. At the, at the individual level, if um, a migrant is sending money, it is very targeted to the needs of the family. So if the family needs food, the money is sent for food. After the food needs are met, it is clothing, maybe it is housing, and then also money is used for education, sending children to school. So the dropout, school dropout rate for remittance recipient households, households that receive remittances, is much lower than other households in any country. And remittances actually are a lifeline. Uh, I call it uh, dollars wrapped with care for poor people. That's fascinating. Thank you so much for your time. I really Thanks. appreciate that. <laughs> Thank you. So we've learned that remittances are already playing a huge role in economic development, eclipsing foreign direct investment and global development aid. If you want more on this, be sure to check out Dilip's TED Talk as well as worldbank.org. Thank you so much for checking out our new series. Please be sure to like, comment, and share it. And we'd love to hear any suggestions or feedback you might have. Leave us a comment below, send us an email, and send us that question that you want one of our experts to answer. <laughs>